Uh, good evening. I'd like to call to order the uh, regular meeting of the Perry Municipal Authority at February 3rd, 2020 at 6.15. Roll call, please. Collar. Bond. Here. Dale Beck. Ahern. Here. Marshall. Here. White. Moral. Here. White. Here. Strawberry. Here. I do declare a quorum, barely. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Pastor Aaron, would you give the invocation? Sure, Will Mayor. Thank you. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we come before you tonight to give you honor and praise. You are the source of all of our blessings, and we thank you for every gift that we have been given. We thank you for the opportunity to come and gather together tonight. We ask for your hand of blessing on this meeting. We would ask that you would guide and direct our meeting so that it is full of wisdom, productivity, and respect for one another. Thank you for helping us to accomplish our work and our goals tonight and beyond. Amen. Thank you, Brian. Item number one is the consent agenda. There's one item, item A, to receive and approve the minutes of the last meeting. Motion to approve. Second. Any discussion? Roll call, please. Bond? Yes. Payton? Yes. Marshall? Yes. Moral? Yes. Wines? Yes. Strawberry? Yes. yes. Thank you. Uh, item four, comments from those assembled uh, pertaining to the PMA. Seeing none, we'll go to item five, proclamations, accommodation, reports, and inquiries by the governing body. Seeing none, we will go to item six, any new business? Seeing none, item seven, adjournment. Move to adjourn. Second. <coughs> Roll call, please. On. Yes. Ahern. Yes. Marshall. Yes. Yes. Moral. Yes. Wines. Yes. Strawberry. Yes. Thank you, authority members. I'd like to call to order the regular meeting of the City Council of the City of Perry, February 3rd, 2020, at 617. If you're ready, roll call, please. Colarn. Bond. Here. Delbeck. Ahern. Here. Marshall. Here. White. Moral. Here. Wines. Here. Strawberry. Here. Thank you. Uh, the consent agenda. We have two items on the consent agenda this evening. <laughs> Motion to approve both items. Second. Any discussion? <coughs> Roll call, please. Bond? Yes. Ahern? Yes. Marshall? Yes. Moral? Yes. Wines? Yes. Strawberry? Yes. <coughs> uh, item number four comments from those assembled pertaining to the city council meeting this evening. Seeing none, item five proclamations, accommodations, reports, and inquiring by the governing body. Seeing none of those either. We will move to the city manager's remarks. Thank you, sir. The uh, city manager messenger started off this edition with two items regarding the Heartland Flyer under administration. There's a more extensive synopsis of that meeting uh, in front of you. Um, it's called the Passenger Rail Luncheon, which uh, City Planner David Payne and former City Councilman Jim Franklin, who have been involved in this project for a long, long time, prior to me at least, uh, were able to attend, and I appreciate them for making the trek up to uh, Topeka. What is most troubling about this, not today, but for the future, is something that we should take into consideration as we get closer to our planning session on the 24th, is the second page, second paragraph, where it mentioned recent legislation that will allow increasing train lengths to three and a half miles. Um, I won't depress you with the rest of the, what's in there, but it is something that we do need to be cognizant of and something that will certainly impede and impact um, the service delivery of our public service and first responders folks. Also, uh, beginning at the end of this week, the city uh, will be starting an effort with social media regarding Census 2020. Uh, this, there's a number of different organizations or the city, the Citrus Bureau is taking care of a lot of that stuff that, that individuals used to have to do and cities used to have to do years ago. Um, so what we're going to do is just simply conduct uh, the social media campaign through our resources, <coughs> um, uh, helping Dixie and, and Tyson and I will also be uh, former councilman Brett Nation who will talk to other organizations. Uh, such as Ministerial Alliance, um, 
Rotary Club and uh, other organizations that um, can help us get out the word that everyone needs to be counted. Um, April 1, the 2020 census begins in earnest with mailers. Again, this is from the Census Bureau. The city's not doing any of this. Um, also in front of you are some talking points that will help you um, inform your citizens in your ward uh, about the importance of, of this. And I've talked to Gloria about it. We'll be putting something out there uh, in the paper over the next couple of weeks. Uh, we have two full months to do this. I know some organizations, some, some cities have been doing this since last year. We're a small city and sometimes you hear the message over and over and over and you tune them out. So I wanted to make certain that we get closer to the actual April 1 uh, target date. Any questions or anything? Larry, would you have more of these if you could put in businesses and things yes, like sir. that? Yes, sir. And we'd be happy to do that. Yeah, be happy to do that. Okay. Thank you, Council. Any questions? All right. Thank you, Larry. Mm -hmm. We'll move on to item seven, consider soliciting for a civil engineering service proposal and appoint a member of the, uh, the governing body to become a member of the committee. Uh, I asked uh, Bryce if, if he would uh, put this together for us. Uh, Blaine, Dr. Blaine Reedley is uh, kind of our civil engineer that we use now. Uh, Blaine is... Uh, some time back, he's moved to California, and, and uh, he's not around these er this area very much. And sometimes it, there's a need for us to uh, have the engineer come to, to our city to look over things and, and see what we're talking about and, and kind of oversee some things here. And, and uh, Ben's Blaine is now in California. It's, just, it's really difficult to, to get that service out of him. Uh, so uh, I would like to... Uh, put an RFP out uh, to solicit uh, re uh, proposals from other companies that would uh, like to uh, be a part of our organization here. And that's what this is. And also, there will be a committee uh, that will consist of uh, uh, myself and Larry and, and, and Dixie uh, and, and one council member to uh, re review these proposals. Uh, and I, I did ask uh, Danette if she would uh, be interested in doing it. She didn't really reply to me, but, uh, for sure. Yeah, but. I could. <laughs> <laughs> you could have me into it. Guilt, guilt you into it a little bit. <laughs> so anyway, uh, that's that's what we're asking uh, uh, asking for this evening, uh, for us to be able to go out and uh, solicit the RFP for a new civil engineer. Well, I'll make a motion on the first part, but I'm not. I'm not making any recommendations for the committee <laughs> member. <laughs> you know, what we could do. We could recommend somebody that's not here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> teach them a lesson. Huh? I don't think we'll do that either. But I'll do the first part. I'll make a motion that we uh, solicit RFPs for a civil engineering uh, firm to work with the city. Second. Any discussion? So the committee bill. They would review all the proposals that are turned in, yes. and then they would come with their single recommendation versus maybe a top two or three or yeah, whatever. Yeah, we, we'll, we'll put together what we think if, if there's, you know, two or three that's, that's pretty equal, we can bring it to the council. We just need to review them and make sure that they've met all the criteria. And the council has the right to see, that, the council has the right to see all of them. Yeah. If, if you want to see all of them, provide all of them. The, we're just hoping to have a, uh, a committee to review them. And of course, the council can review uh, whatever whatever documents come in. So you just have to make a request. Or we can provide them to you. Okay. Well, I don't have a problem either way. Dixie brought up a good idea. I mean, if if we chose, we could, we could have, have them come make a presentation, but that can get pretty lengthy sometimes. I've been involved in that before. Could you imagine have six of Bryce up there talking? <laughs> it's every meeting. 
Anything better than that is when you have him and Russ both on a hole. Yeah. <laughs> well, luckily, luckily it's just been one or the other. I know. <laughs> You told Russ last time he can't come back. He has to send you. He talks too much. <laughs> All right, we have a we have a a motion. Do we have a second? Yes. Okay. Any further discussion? Roll call, please. Bond. Yes. Ahern. Yes. Marshall. Yes. Morrill. Yes. Wine. Yes. Streller. Yes. Thank you, Council. Uh, item number eight: Consider approval of the grant agreement with the. No. Well, we didn't get a person. We didn't get a person. Well, I asked, didn't that, do we have to have a motion on that too? Well, I don't know. It, either, either that or she has to, somebody has to volunteer. Well, she did. Didn't you? <laughs> I said I would. You yeah. know, okay, well, I didn't catch that. Oh, okay. I'm going to get that in a minute, Awesome. Thank I'm you, sorry. Dad. I apologize. <laughs> All right, thanks. Okay. Item 8, consider approval of the grant agreement with the Malzahn Family Affiliated Fund of Oklahoma City Community Foundation. Uh, this is this is the Malzone Fund that, that we've been talking about for some time. Uh, myself and Larry and Jamie sit on that committee. Uh, <clears throat> they approved us uh, for $520,000 and some change uh, before the end of the year. And we brought that agreement to you, but there were some things on there that, it, that we didn't feel like were priorities anymore. Uh, so this is a new list that uh, the three of us have all gone over and uh, have agreed these are our priorities at this time, and so we would just like to ask the, uh, the, uh, the council to approve this uh, priority list, this grant agreement. Uh, when I talk to Nancy Anthony, she's, got, she's the foundation lady that is represented on our, on our uh, committee. Uh, she asked me to bring a, a list that the council would approve uh, with the agreement. So we just need a, an approval. A motion of approval on the grant agreement. Is this the one where we are supposed to have the school resource officer? Yes. On and the school resource officer is it listed on? Yes. Uh, we have reached an agreement, hopefully tonight, which we brought that agreement to you guys right. uh, okay, a couple, two, three that. weeks ago or a month. I don't remember how long it's been now. Uh, but I talked to Russ about that, and Russ said we could just play that out of our, our budget. It's like it's twelve thousand dollars and some change. I don't remember the exact amount right in front of me, but and his reasoning was really because he was already a salary employee yeah, yeah, exactly. for anyways, and so we, we didn't have to go above and beyond <laughs> to pay for that out of our budget and the school put that. And plus the school, yeah, plus the school was paying half of that. So for the spring, so yeah. okay. And we also made it so that it was based upon the number of student days, not just half of whatever we're paying for all the time. So that reduces the cost of that. Uh, I will point out uh, in here, uh, there is a, uh, on, pa on page three, the next page from where the grant started, up at the top where it talks about fire. Uh, we had to, we'll have another agenda item that, uh, coming up here in a minute, uh, $20,000, 20, 21000 I think it is, and some change, 21000 uh, Forty-two dollars for the fire trucks, uh, and I talked to Russ about that, and he said that we could pay the thousand forty-one dollars, but we did put the, the twenty thousand dollars in this agreement to being reimbursed. Any questions? So those repairs have already been done. Yes, ma'am. Well, it's an easy motion to make. In great appreciation to you guys, the Malibu Foundation. But I'll make a motion to approve the grant agreement as presented. Second. Any further discussion? Thank you. Roll call, please. Bond. Yes. Ahern. Yes. Marshall. Yes. Morrill. Yes. Wines. Yes. Strong. Yes, thank you very much. Item number nine, consider approval of resolution number 2020-01, approving participation in the Oklahoma Municipal Alliance Mutual Aid Agreement. Uh, this, the way I understand it, this organization uh, used to be called MISO, and now they've changed their name to Oklahoma Municipal Alliance. And it's a mutual aid agreement, there's a couple of agreements uh, that if, 
say, say that we need mutual aid if we have a tornado or something come through here and knock down our power lines. It's an organization that will send crews from other towns to come in here and help us and, and vice versa. If, if someone else needs aid and we have a crew available, we will send aid to them. And part of it's for, for electric and then the other part is for other type of assistance. But it's all under the same resolution. Motion to approve resolution 2020-01. 20, 20 Second. For mutual aid. <coughs> Sorry. Any discussion? <coughs> Roll call, please. Bond. Yes. Ahern. Yes. Morgan. Yes. Morgan. Yes. 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 Thank you. Item number 10, consider approval of change order number 5 to the 2018 street improvement contract with Evans and Associates Construction Company in the amount of $10,191 providing for certain street repairs at 6th and Delaware. Okay, in your, in your background, uh, it talks about, and I'll just tell you how it happened in, in Dixie, Dixie and Bryce, or someone told me the story, so it, wasn't, it didn't come from me, but uh, Chuck come in, Chuck Hall came in in the crosswalk between Foster's and Exchange Bank is really bad potholes and they've patched the holes and so I went down there and looked at it and it is pretty bad and so uh, they have both agreed to put up three thousand dollars a piece uh, Foster's and Exchange Bank uh, to fix the crosswalk and, and our uh, the estimate on it was ten thousand one hundred ninety one dollars so we have to come up with four thousand dollars a little over four thousand dollars to uh, fix that crosswalk. And I thought it was very nice of, of the Foster's organization and Exchange Bank to kick in that money so we get that crosswalk fixed. So that's what we're asking for the the change orders for is that project. Could I ask something semi related to that? Yeah. What about um, Delaware back to the east as you go towards Seth Wadley? I, I'm that crosswalk is kind of where it all ends in terms of just being in very poor condition. Mm -hmm. I mean, this needs to be done. I'm just wondering if there's ever any discussion about that. If you if you drive towards Seth Wadley, I mean, you you drive west from Seth Wadley, you end up at that crosswalk. It needs to be fixed, but that road needs to be fixed too at some point. Correct, if I may, uh, Mayor. Mm -hmm. We had talked about that. We, being <coughs> Evans and, and Sam Harmon, and I had talked about redoing. The, that section that you're talking about mm -hmm. to Fifth Street. Um, the problem with that is this is not a simple fix and it would certainly impact Seth Wadley's business. Mm -hmm. So we've kind of put that on a, burn, a back burner until they open their other facility. And at that time, then they won't have the, quite the traffic that they do now and it would be less impactful on them. Okay, thank you. That makes sense. Well, you're right, it does need to be done, absolutely. It's a good problem to have if you have too much traffic. That's right, mm -hmm. especially the square. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. Uh, do we have one now? But I just wanted to add that it both on both sides of the street there, it's where their handicap parking is. That's another reason oh, it's yeah. really impactful because mm -hmm. of the holes. Mm -hmm. I'll make a motion to approve change order number five. And thank you again to Foster's and Exchange Bank for that. A second. Did you second it? Any discussion? And the thank you. I also second that. <laughs> we sure appreciate it when, when people like that step up. It really makes it nice. Uh, roll call, please. Bond. Yes. Ahern. Yes. Marshall. Yes. Morrill. Yes. Wines. Yes. Stroller. Yes. Thank you, Council. Item number 11. Consider approval of application for pay payment number 5, final to Walters Morgan Construction Incorporated pursuant to the schedule of valves on the wastewater treatment plant influent lift station renovation project in the amount of $11,829.08 pursuant to the certification of Monsoon Consultant City Engineer acceptance of project so long as the work is in accordance with the plans and specifications and begin the term of the maintenance bond. Okay, this is the, the lift station out there that, that went bad some time ago and they come in and got that all put back together. Uh, there's one, there's an electrical panel or something that uh, is supposed to be in within the next couple of weeks. Uh, 
The existing keypad is functional but obviously needs to be replaced uh, for uh, cosmetic reasons. So what we would like to do is we would like to approve this final payment pending that, uh, <coughs> that panel <coughs> box or whatever it is to get, get put in. So that way we don't have to bring it back to the council. We won't pay them until they get that, that uh, one last item put in. I like that it says final. <laughs> yeah, me too. Yeah. So I'll make a motion to approve payment number five, the final <clears throat> one pending the panel boxes described by the mayor. Second. Any discussion? Roll call, please. Bond. Yes. Ahern. Yes. Marshall. Yes. Moral. Yes. Lines. Yes. Strahler. Yes. Thank you. Item number 12, approval of invoice in the amount of $15,279.93 from Utility Technology Service in the additional, for additional meters and related equipment related to the citywide meter replacement project. Uh, if you had looked at your background on item 12, uh, I was confused at why this project just keeps going and keeps going and keeps going. Yeah, I think keeps we've had going. this conversation before we, about we haven't, we haven't seen that word finally yet, Brian. <laughs> uh, but anyway, so uh, we called Vernon today. This is, this is just wa the water meter. This is water meters. Okay, this is an electric meter. This is Vernon's deal. Uh, do you remember back when we had the discussion about uh, water meter lids, the can lids, and getting broke, and who's going to pay for them and who's not going to pay for them, and we actually did nothing. We tabled that. Okay. Uh, Vernon has actually ordered a total. He just he, there's invoices in here for two times. He's ordered 50 lids. That's a hundred, and now he's ordered another 50. So we're at 150 lids that have been broke since that project began. And as a council, we couldn't really come to a decision on how or who we would hold liable for those lids getting broke. Now these are the lids, if you remember right, that had, they were rebar enforced and uh, the ones he, he has the order now. Uh, Vernon did tell me that, that they, They've taken and they've got the, the cast iron lids, the metal lids, and they drill holes in them to mount the, the uh, little sensor in there, and which tremendously weakens that lid because they drilled a hole in there. And he said some of those lids, literally someone's stepping on them, they broke. And so now they've gone to these polymer plastic lids and uh, they haven't had too much problem with them. Uh, but he, they were drilling, and he told me this, this is amazing, he was telling me that they were drilling those holes in the, those metal lids, because most of all of our lids were metal to start with, so they were drilling. They could drill somewhere between 10 to 15 lids before they'd have to change the drill bit. Those drill bits are $85 a piece. So I can just imagine what kind of money we spent on that. But there's also wiring. Uh, in, in your background notes, there's some wiring and asking what the wiring was for. And what happens is people get curious, so they pull the lid off, and they either pull the wires in two, or when they put them back together, the wire gets into the lid and gets smashed, and it's not any good. So then City Hall calls and said this meter's not working, so they go out there and they found that someone's taken. So at some point, I mean, it's not on this in this item, but at some point we're going to have to probably put some meat and something to get people leaving things alone. So... At some point, we need to review that. Some people run over with lawnmowers and break them too, and, and uh, I mean, there's just there's many different things that happen. But anyway, well, I think part of it too, we talked about like somewhere in the middle of their driveway where they're going to always have to drive over them. Yeah. So, and we didn't want to move them either. Yeah. So. Well, I think that the way he just under, the way I understood it, once they get these these new style lids on there, they're a lot more durable. But, and he's checking in that when he buys new meter cans, uh, they send it out 
with the, the metal lid, that's his standard, you know, what you get. And he's trying to get his vendor to not send lids with it. He just wants to can, and then we can get these other lids and put, put with them. So he told me he was working on that also. But this is just for the, the lids and the wiring and stuff that people have kind of been tearing up. So this would catch us up, right? I guess, yeah. I mean, basically. There, there's another 50 lids that aren't on this. Right. So, and, that, and I don't remember what it was, right? It's like $1,500 or something for the, for the 50 lids. So, I think it's towards the end of the bear back. Yeah, it's uh, fifteen hundred dollars for fifty lids. They're, they're thirty bucks a piece. <coughs> so, what we'd like to do with this council? Motion to approve the invoice for fifteen two seventy nine ninety three to United Utility Technology Services. Second. Any further discussion? <clears throat> Roll call, please. Bond? Yes. Okay. Yes. Marshall? Yes. Moral? Yes. Wines? Yes. Stroll? Yes, thank you. <clears throat> Item 13, consider approval of payment to MITRE Fire Support Incorporate, or LLC, I'm sorry, in the amount of $21,041.56 for vehicle repairs on the fire engine number 5 and fire engine number 6. This is what I was talking to you earlier about the fire trucks that we had some gearbox issues with. Uh, they've got them all put to get, uh, put back together, Chief. Yes. Did you get them out yesterday and use them. We did both of them. Yes. And they performed well. They did. Oh, good. So and basically twenty twenty thousand dollars of this money is going to be reimbursed back to us uh, through the the balls on grant. If the grant's approved, which I believe it will be. Chief, is that just normal wear and tear? It is. On equipment? Yes, sir. Um, we, you know, one of those, one of those fire engines is uh, 27 years old. <coughs> the other one is uh, 16 years old. So they're just getting to that point where these high dollar pieces were, were worn out and needing replaced. Okay. Thank you. Yes, sir. I make a motion to approve the invoices for payment. Second. Any further discussion? Roll call, please. John? Yes. Pepper? Yes. Marshall? Yes. Moral? Yes. Wines? Yes. <coughs> yes. Item 14 Consider acceptance of a sanitary sewer easement from the State of Oklahoma Land Commission for the Perry Public School Sanitary Sewer uh, Line Extension. Uh, the way I understand it is. We, we saw this before, correct? Federal 18. No. I don't no. think it came to okay, the council. Okay, it didn't come to the Okay. So what happened? Somehow it got to it got to the school. I thought I thought they'd said that we saw it first, but it, somehow it got to the school. And uh, Terry McCarty, I don't know what it said on it, but for some reason the superintendent uh, signed this and sent it on, which uh, we have to be the one to, to sign and accept the so someone someone messed up on where where it went and how it got there. I don't know, but anyway. So this is just uh, accepting the, an easement to, before we can put our sewer line in up at the new school from the state land commission. <clears throat> Motion to approve the sewer easement. Second. Any discussion? Roll call, please. Bond. Yes. Ahern. Yes. Marshall. Yes. Morals. Yes. Wines. Yes. Yes, thank you. Uh, item 15, consider convening into executive se session to discuss the purchase of certain in interest in real property, permanent and temporary flowage easement related to the Upper Black Bear Watershed Project pursuant to Title 25, Section 307B.3 for the Oklahoma statutes as amended. And before we do that, I would like to ask uh, Dixie, our city clerk, to stay in the executive session because she's been involved in this. Motion to convene into executive session. Second. Roll call, please. Bond? Yes. Ahern? Yes. Marshall? Yes. Moore? Yes. Wines? Yes. Stroll? Yes. Thank you, Council.
Where are we at? Item 16, reconvene in the regular session. So moved. Second. Roll call, please. Bond? Yes. Ahern? Yes. Marshall? Yes. Moral? Yes. Wines? Yes. Stroller? Yes. 17, take any action deemed necessary due to executive session. Seeing none, any new business that needs to come before the council tonight. Seeing none, item 19. Motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. <laughs> Second. She can have it. <laughs> any further discussion? <laughs> Roll call, please. Bond. Yes. I heard. Yes. Marshall. Yes. Moral. Yes. Lines. Yes. Trailer. Yes. Okay, 750.